you guys and welcome back to my channel i am so excited because i get to share with you guys my full laundry room organization i am like so excited about it i still have to change this handle but are you guys ready oh my gosh i'm so excited <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started you guys i absolutely love everything in my laundry room even though i despise doing laundry i still despise it but i absolutely love the fact that everything is really really organized this unit right here that you see on the door it is from container store and it is the alpha unit now you can use this if you do gift wrap for christmas if you um do crafting or any sort of hobby these units pretty much come in a different arrangement when i saw this one i automatically was like okay this is perfect because i want to turn this not only into a cleaning closet but kind of like a catch-all but in a more organized manner and that's exactly what i ended up doing with the space so as you can see on the bottom i have all of my floor cleaning products and then i have my clorox wipes which i use on the regular my floor Doors, I clean at least once a week so I need to have access to that so if you get a closer look here I have my small hammer my level screwdriver measuring tape these are things that I pretty much need access to all the time whether I'm working within the house or with a client even if I forget as I'm walking out the door I know I can always reach here to get what I need and then I have the air fresheners for the house from Myers which I absolutely love again I have my little small cleaning tools and because I have the boys accidents happen whether it's with my boys or with the neighbors I like to have my first aid kit right here which was perfect I mean perfect and then I have the arm and hammer I'm actually gonna go shopping and grab a few more of these because I use these even within this closet even under the cabinet here and then I also use it in the fridge just to kind of keep things deodorized these are items right here that I use for the toilet the little small gel clickets that you use in the toilets. I have my screws if I'm doing any sort of project, the 100 pound, 70, and then these are the 50 pound ones here. And then I have the clips 
that also go here if I would need to hook something onto the wall. And then here I have a few more nails and then I'm gonna um, fill these up with other things too. It's just, um, I haven't gone shopping for it yet. When I do fill it, I'll let you guys know. And this container here, which I got from TJ Maxx, I think I paid like $12.99, no more than $12.99. I, I don't remember paying like $24 for it. But as you can see on the interior, I have all of my attachment head from my Dyson. Not only my Dyson um, canister, but also the um, hands-free one. So all of my attachment heads are in here. and. I don't need to look all over the house because they would be upstairs, downstairs, all over the place. So now I have that here. In this compartment here, I have all of my duster things for my steam vac, which a lot of you say you haven't seen me use it. I do use a steam vac for the bathroom, but not my hardwood floors, unless I get something really, really sticky and I can't get it up. But I try not to use it on my hardwood floors. I tend to use it more in the bathroom. But I have the heads for that. I have my Bona, the Swiffer, the window, and this right here is my dust mop. And then I have some more. So all of my heads are in here. So if something is dirty, I can clean it. I did wash everything over the weekend so everything is nice and clean and organized and then these are the attachment head for my dusters here this right here is the attachment head to go for the rest of my duster my steam vac my Dyson I finally clicked it on right here which I am loving and then of course this small little corner unit right here houses the, the broom, my dust mop, and also the Swiffer. Everything just fits so nicely in their space and I am loving everything immensely. So here I have my Clorox, whether I'm cleaning or doing laundry, I have my Dawn. Everything that you see here in this row is for my upholstery fabrics in the house, whether it's leather or fabric or even outside. I have everything here to keep things clean, to keep things protected year round so I definitely love this little area right here and then in here I have everything from the disinfectants to the bathroom to my polish another polish here again and then my everyday cleaners thank you to my client because this Lysol one of these are like seven dollars and 98 cents 88 cents or something like that and she's she texts me the link and she's like hey I found this thought you would use it because you're always cleaning and I was like great so I ended up ordering it I think it was three I think it was four or five for the 788 and I ended up ordering two of those so you're gonna see a lot of Lysols around just because I just was like let me get it within about three to four hours the link was non-usable so i cannot share with you because it's not even available anymore um and then i have all of my cleaners again my glass cleaner my coldrea the vinegar the freshener and the freshener so most of the fresheners polish cleaners are in this area so when i was on instagram and i did this right here everyone was like what are you gonna put in that little compartment i was like <laughs> just wait just wait <laughs> But I had already measured the Swiffer um, wet ones so I can go in here. So I was like, yeah, and it fit. I actually have these three here and then I have another one in the back. So that worked out perfectly. And then up here I have my refill items. So you can see that I have some more of the Lysol. I have some more towels and my Swiffer duster. And then I have the toilet bowl cleaner. In here, of course, you guys know I can't do anything without my odor band. I have my Fabuloso front and back. And then these units right here, I ended up finding at home because if you remember, they were in the pantry. I opted to use several in here because I have my towels that I folded in here. I think the biggest thing with this closet, it's not keeping it organized, but it's making sure that people put things back because they will grab an air freshener and not put it back. They'll grab a Lysol and not put it back. And I'm like, this is not the general store. I need you to put it back. I am really loving this closet so much. I think it's user friendly. I can see everything. I can access everything with ease and I can see exactly what I need. Oh my gosh, I don't even think I can express how much this room means to me. I still heavily despise doing laundry, but it looks cute. It looks so good in here. I'm happy that I took my time. Um, when we first moved into the house, I actually kind of envisioned the space looking this good, but 
with everything that was just going on i was just like oh my gosh financially that's not something that we can just kind of do like right now and then i wanted to do some more things in here like i wanted to do like a tile backsplash behind the washer and dryer but you know with a lot of the upgrades that i'm doing right now i have to kind of keep in mind that certain things are going to be just for me my eyes only like we're not going to be making any money on it once we sell the house you know when you're doing upgrades the two areas that really benefit is like the kitchen and the bathroom and things like that so i didn't want to cough up too much money in one particular space you know so i'm really happy with this i hope you guys like it i hope you found something that you can implement um even if you didn't find the video useful i really hope that you just enjoyed it in general i am really really loving the laundry room it just looks so good it's just really nice to be able to see everything considering how it looked before do you guys remember how it looked before did i even do a before and a after i don't think i did let me slide in what it looked like before in case you're new to seeing it nothing was really in order i had bought this rack from home depot it was working but it wasn't the best system ever and everything was just all over the place so to have things looking like this from that of course i absolutely love it i absolutely love it and like i said i ended up going really really um i think the color is called bright white in a semi gloss and it works it cleans really easily i did line it with a liner that way if anything spilled like it would get on the liner first and i just went to home depot and i picked the liners i know this is probably not something that everyone wants to spend the money on but if you own a house and you know you're going to be in it for like let's just say five years i would say make the investment to be comfortable and this works so well you guys oh my gosh and even the door rack right now it's on sale at um container store hey this was a look, look at it look at it hold on look at it let <laughs> me do my vanna white it just oh my gosh like the other day my son was outside running, just playing around. And he goes, Mommy, my finger. And first of all, let me just tell you, it was a tiny little scratch. I mean, I couldn't even see it. He had to literally put it this close to my eye. And I was like, okay, okay, I see it. And he's like, I need a panda. <laughs> and I was just like, y'all can't even help seeing my lush organization system without one that I want to. ready because normally i'd have to look i'd be in every drawer looking i pulled out my little band-aid i pulled out my little ointment it's called the no ouch okay so you can use this on the babies and not have to worry my bad it's called hurt free i said no ouch that's what it should be called but it's called hurt free so i got my little cotton swabs i, I jammed it on there put a little band-aid on it he was like mommy you're my favorite i was like <laughs> over a band-aid <laughs> it's because i could find it that's why it's because i could find it right when he needed it so i became his favorite person in the whole wide world okay so just think about that you become your, your child's favorite person in the whole wide world if you get organized no but for real i'm not an organization person it's never really been my thing i love my home looking pretty but i'm the kind of person that would probably buy a tupperware and stick it up under the bed or vacuum seal everything but when you have kids you have to find a way to organize your life and just organize things in general because they will chaotically put things upside down okay but i'm gonna go ahead and go and you guys have a really great one don't forget to like comment and most definitely subscribe i do have another video coming out which is going to be my pantry tour by now of course you guys know exactly what the pantry looks like but last week i had the guy come in he put in the extra molding he put in the scribe and the countertops are going to be installed i don't have an official date just yet but i'm hoping by at least friday or tuesday of, of next week that we will have things in order okay that's what i'm hoping for so most definitely you guys have a really amazing day and come back and see me mm, 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 mm.